Quizalyze now has a more robust integration with Google Classroom, such that if your classes in Quizalyze and Google Classrooms are synced, your assignments will automatically be pushed to the student's Google Classroom stream, and their scores will be pushed back to your Google Classroom gradebook. This makes it easier for you to centralize and organize lesson planning using Quizalyze, especially for extended learning and remote teaching. In order for this to work, you must be registered for Quizalyze with the same Google account that you have associated with Google Classroom. That being the case, any new class you create will give you an opportunity to connect that class with an existing Google Classroom class. The drop-down menu will show you your available classes. Notice two things. One, if a class is already synced, it will be grayed out. And two, we simply pull in the classes as they are named in Google Classroom. If you have many classes with the same name, you might consider going back to Google Classroom and renaming your classes to make sure each one is more identifiable. If for some reason you find that your accounts are not synced, then there is an alternative method by going into your account settings and syncing your accounts here. This is worth double checking. One more thing to make clear now is that students will enter your class automatically through Google Classroom. There is never a need to add students manually. We will demonstrate this shortly. So once your account and all of your classes are synced, the magic starts when you begin assigning activities. When you are ready to push out your content, the activity settings will give you the option to share to Google Classroom. These options are toggled on by default for all your synced classes. Your assigned activity is accessible to students directly in their Google Classroom stream. So when they click on the activity, it will direct them to Quizalize from there. So now a student can complete the assignment, check on the results and be taken to the student dashboard within Quizalize, and complete any differentiated follow-up activities you may have assigned for students to complete after a quiz attempt. To learn more about our automatic differentiation, check out the link in the description. Remember earlier when I said students will enter your class automatically. Well, here is where you will begin seeing their data in your activity list as students begin completing activities. We think it's important to do your data analysis within Quizalyze because there is so much formative assessment data you have access to in order to inform best teaching practices. In fact, we are so excited about our data collection that we have not created just one, but two tutorial videos dedicated to data. Check them out in the description as well. While the formative assessment data should be analyzed in Quizalyze, you do have the option to have quiz results sent back to your Google Classroom gradebook. Again, this option is toggled on by default. When a student completes a quiz attempt, that score is automatically recorded in Google Classroom as an assignment, giving you an opportunity to comment on the student's results and give them direct feedback. Don't forget to go back to your Quizalyze results page to gather more information on the class and individual student results. On top of that, teachers usually appreciate that students can take a quiz multiple times, and each new attempt will also update in your gradebook. All of those attempts are recorded in the submission history, so you can get a more information about their improvement or lack thereof. We hope that the gradebook integration helps you save time without having to manually enter Quizlize scores into Google Classroom.